does not want to come up. Oh, big oh. walleye. Big walleye. Oh I don't know if that's going to fit through this hole. Oh my. I don't know if that's going to fit through this oh hole. Oh my. Huge walleye. Huge walleye. Oh, oh baby! Oh my god! Oh. That's what we're here for, right there! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you viewers back at home. Welcome back to NB Edits. Today, we are way up north, all the way up by the border of Wisconsin and the UP. And today, we are going to be doing a little ice fishing challenge between Nick and I, going for the biggest walleye of the night. Winner takes all, whoever catches the biggest one. It should be a lot of fun. We actually have a tip up up right now and uh, the guys are walking to it. So let's go check it out. We'll show you guys who we're fishing with tonight. All right, well, we didn't get here in time, but caught a 14 inch walleye, first one of the night. Now, of course, anything under 15 has to go back. So that one lives on to swim another day. Now we just gotta wait for our other flags to go up. We've got a pretty good spread because we've got a healthy amount of guys out here. Guys we're fishing with, we've got uh, our buddy Bridge over there. We got Paul, we got Dave, we've got Gunner, of course, Nick and I. Paul brought a friend up with us today and between, what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys. So we've got 21 lines in the water. So uh, I'm hoping we do pretty well. That was just the first one of the night, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to head back to the shack. We've got something to show you guys. We uh, made a little purchase last night, so let's go check it out. What happened over there? I uh, caught a 14 inch walleye. Ooh, really fun. Now we got another flag. There. Yep. How's it feel? Okay. Out of breath. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Feels like a walleye. It's running like one. Maybe it's a pike. Got the bobber. Mm, the leader. Pike. Oh, walleye. Oh, nice walleye. Nice one. Oh, come on. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. That oh, looks walleye. like a nice eater. Nice walleye there. Yeah. Holy cow. That's that was good. a hike. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth the run, right? We didn't even make it to the shack, guys. We already got another flag and another walleye. That's a nice one there. Mouth open. Well, that's pretty exciting. Wow, well, look at that. That's a nice one. Okay, that's well, a that's a good sign. No. They're starting to get a little bit bigger, and uh, so are our shacks. So let's go check that out. <laughs> Slow turns. Trying to show you guys our new shack, but. The fish don't want us to, and I'm okay with that. Dropped nice. it. Dropped it. Oh. Yeah, it dropped it. Shoot. Son of a gun. I took her into the weeds. Well, eventually one of these days we are going to show you guys our new shack because we enjoy it, but we also enjoy catching fish. Unfortunately, that one got away on us, but we've already got two walleyes on top of the ice and we've got one keeper size, which is awesome to see. Unfortunately, that one just dropped it right as I, right as I set the hook. So it's all right. We'll get her set back in and head back to the shack. Well, so we finally made it back to the shack. Actually, we could have gone for another tip up because that same exact one that just caught that 17 and a half is back up, and looks like all the guys are over there. But I tell you what, we just ran from, I don't know, we probably just ran like easily a half mile. It felt like back and forth. So I said, screw it, I'm not doing it, and. Uh, yeah, here we are, back at our shack. Now we upgraded, we did have an Eskimo, like a two-man, and uh, that just wasn't gonna do it. Especially with the upcoming plans that we have is to be doing a lot of winter camping for you guys. So we ended up buying this bad boy. This is the Clam Thermo X series, the 600. So that's like the, what, five to eight man or five to seven? Five to seven. Either way, this thing is absolutely enormous. Yeah. We'll come inside here. Oh. Well, taking inside, as you can tell, huge ceilings. I mean, it's, I think it's seven and a half feet tall. So plenty of room to walk around. You can tell we got two chairs here, but imagine if we were winter camping, we could have a cot here, cot there. We do have some like floor mats to put in here too, to keep it a little more uh, insulated. And uh, it, it's gonna be amazing. I mean, even if we're like jigging 
and we're set up on like a crib or something like that we would have plenty of room to have us sitting here we could have the tripod recording a light all that good stuff the live scope like four holes i mean this thing is going to be an absolute game changer so super pumped about that like i said we got like five guys with us actually how many guys we got seven, seven guys not five i don't know where i got that number from so everybody will be able to sit in here we're getting flags like crazy but like brandon was saying in the intro the goal of this video is to put the competition between Brandon and I. Now, we always team up and we always catch fish for the channel. Uh, obviously, we're gonna be doing that today, but we're just, we're gonna do a friendly competition just to see who the better angler is. Obviously, I've fished this lake pretty much my whole life, so I feel like I got a pretty good advantage on him, but you never know. Brandon caught a nine pounder out of here in the spring and I caught like a 23 only that day, so. I mean, anything's possible, but we are gonna be seeing who catches the bigger wall, and me versus him. So. Probably not gonna be long until we run to another flag. We do have the grill and we're probably gonna make some hot dogs and stuff like that and just enjoy the night. So, stay tuned guys, it's gonna get good. Oh. Oh, wow, yeah. Holy wow. cow. There we go. Oh my God. <laughs> that is a freaking giant. Holy wow. crap. Feels all right, he says. <laughs> that is a freaking wow. toad. Woo! 26 and a half. Yeah. 26 and a half, but just plump. Here, Paul. Sure, surely. Holy cow, hold that thing up. That is a freaking giant. Oh my goodness. And you said it didn't even feel that big, huh? Oh, he's used to 10 pounders. <laughs> Come on, Fred. Oh, what the heck? Alrighty guys, wow, just made her back to the shack. That was an awesome fish. Unfortunately, Nick and I are doing biggest fish wins and we're losing, yeah, we are. We're getting our uh, butts kicked right now, but uh, we've got the one giant one that was over the slot. That one was 26 and a half and it was just absolutely built. Huge shoulders on that fish and uh, just crazy. I mean, that was an awesome fish to see come out and uh, Hopefully they continue to get even bigger. Um, we're hoping for even longer, but I mean that fish was just so built. So we are just enjoying some time in the shack now. We're waiting for one of ours to go up so that Nick and I can hopefully get one of those big girls on top of the ice as well. So we're gonna hang out. It's nice and warm in here. Very much enjoying this new shack, but uh, hopefully next time you guys see us, we're gonna be hooked up with a giant. It's been a minute. And by a Since, minute, how long? Whew, probably going on three hour lull that we've had right now. Obviously, you guys saw poles that went up and uh, ended up catching a freaking giant, which was awesome to see. We had one other tip up since then, took out about a foot of line, dropped it. We've had a massive lull, but we've got a tip up. So, I'm out of breath. Let's walk over. Check it out, we haven't had any movement, but it's been a little while. I don't see a bobber down there. That's at least a good sign. The bite has been crazy, just super, super finicky these fish have been for us. One of the weird things that we've kind of acknowledged here tonight since we've been out here is we've noticed there's nothing that's really pushed these fish to bite. The last couple outings that we've had already this year We've noticed we've had storm fronts that have come through, cold fronts that have come through, uh, pressure changes, all those things. And uh, seems like almost every night we go, we've got something. Tonight was a very clear night. It's cold, but uh, nothing too crazy. And well, here we sit, we got a three hour lull, but we've got a tip up. So we're gonna give it a couple minutes here and see what's lying below us here. Well, we've given it a couple minutes here. We have not gotten any movement, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take it here. Cold night, a lot of ice buildup. Not a great sign, but you just never know. It's going out that way. Ran a decent bit, actually. It did. Oh. Just a minnow. 
Wow, wow it pulled out a lot of line here. Oh, fish, 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 fish. Good one. Good one. Okay, a change of events. Oh my gosh. He, was, he, he swam back then. Yep, yep. It's a good fish. A lot of weight. Head shakes. Oh, you caught a line. What? Wait, what? Wait, is that fish still there? Yes, the fish okay, is Okay, okay, just worry about that. Just worry about that. You want me to just pull this through? Oh, yeah, yeah. what is that? It's a pike. What the heck? Oh, holy cow. What in God's name just happened? What? Okay, so it swam through another line. What the heck? Oh, yeah, he's got a big gash over okay, the top. Okay, so here we are sitting at night, 10 o'clock. <laughs> pike. What? I don't even believe that. Okay, nice pike. Probably. Oh, that's probably. That's, your that's probably the one that that's we tripped. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get a release on this fish. This fish is probably just as shocked as I am. Come on, buddy. There he goes. Wow. That is by far the latest pike <laughs> I've ever caught, ever seen. What the heck? It's after 10 o'clock at night right now. Huh. What? That's crazy. I mean, I, there's nothing that says a fish can't bite at night, obviously. And they do occasionally. It's just, obviously, when I saw that flag go up, I thought it was, uh, I thought we were into maybe even past prime walleye time. <laughs> okay, we've got some lines to go and deal with now. That fish cruised over into another one of ours so let's go ahead and get these fixed i don't know how much longer we are going to be staying out here just because we've had such a crazy lull it's been a crazy turn of events out here tonight so we're going to get these back into the water and maybe just maybe we'll get another flag Put them open. oh lord Ooh. you want to smash yeah move <sighs> Oh, finally another flag here. Things running. Got him? Yep. Big? Uh, there's weight. Uh, swimming at me. Oh. Thing was running, holy cow. Oh, big walleye, big walleye. I don't oh know if that's my. gonna fit through this hole. Oh my. I don't know if that's gonna fit through this oh hole. Oh my. This is the same exact area bridge cut a nine and a half pounder. Oh, big walleye. Brandon, you ready? I am. Bridge, I don't think we're getting that through this hole. Can I? No, no. It'll fit. Bridge has 20 pound braid on this. Big walleye bridge. Huge walleye. Huge walleye. Oh, oh baby! Oh my god! Oh, let's go! Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. my god! That's what we're here for, right there! Let's go! Baby. Right there! Oh, woo. Let's go! Oh my oh. god, we grinded all night for that fish! Oh my god! Oh yeah. It finally happened. Oh, oh that's a tank. That's oh a my beauty. God. That's oh. a gorgeous fish. Oh well, here we God. are. Brandon and I are doing a competition to see who catches the biggest walleye. Paul catches like, like a football? seven pounder, and Bridge is caught. That's easy eight pounds. I mean, that's I, a football, man. That's easy eight pounds, probably that's 27 inches at all day. That's a football right there. <sighs> Two flags in the last four hours. It all pays off when you get one this size. Oh my God. That is a big one. All right. God, awesome. the on that is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. 27. Ooh, just yeah. over 27. 27 and 8. Maybe. 27 and 8. All right, uh, beautiful fish. I mean, this has been the honey hole for me for the past couple years. Had a nine and a half out of this one. This one ended up being 27 inches, but I mean, it's a cow. Easy it's, eight pounds. It's, it's easy eight pounds, maybe eight and a quarter. I mean, beautiful fish. We're going to. We're gonna get her back though. She wants to go home. 
Check it out compared to this 8 inch hole when he releases this. Just to oh get a, my an gosh. idea how big this fish is. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and she's ready to go. Let's go, dude. Just like that, <laughs> Let's man. Let's freaking go, Let's baby. Like that, Woo! That's how we do it here. That is a freaking giant. Oh, that man. is what it's all about right there. We grinded, and I'm not kidding you, all freaking night for that fish. Two I mean, it's in late. Six hours. Yeah, we got to be going on almost midnight now, and we have not had that many tip ups at all like not even like tripped flags or nothing and we've been we've been literally giving these tip ups every last chance we've we're in the middle of packing up we're we, we just we're gonna bring everything down. back just to leave everything in as long as possible and this one went up wow that was a freaking sow dude oh that's my god a, that's my probably that's my number two walleye so far yeah ever that's yep. i mean it's number two and ever. just i it's mean stacked. the girth just I mean, so tall big shoulder Oh yeah, huge I mean, walleye. That is freaking awesome, and to see that wise, fish go back. Size wise, for the length was definitely longer than my PB, or it was fatter than my PB. Yeah, way fatter, so. taller, just built, man. That was a huge fish. But to it's see up. that fish go back like that, just gotta make sure you're taking care of it. And oh my God, did that just happen? Get it, Let's buddy. go, dude. Thanks, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's oh what I'm talking God. about. That is freaking awesome. Let's go. It's the grind's about. Woo! Well guys, seems like we're getting kind of a flurry right before we're packing up. And by flurry, I mean three flags in the last 45 minutes. But that's better than the, what we have had. Uh, we took all the tip-up lights off and we were literally like just packing up. And we noticed that this one was up when we shined the light over. So, gonna go ahead and check it. Probably gonna be the last tip-up of the day. Doesn't seem very promising. But, you never know. You never know. Yep. He's there. Not very big. That's a decent one. Oh, that's a decent fish, though. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's a, I mean, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's I mean, a decent fish. I mean, if we're comparing it to bridges, it's not a nice fish. <laughs> but, to the average guy, it's a nice fish. That is a nice one. Not very fat, but it, well, it's probably a male, but that's got to be like... Man, that's got to be like 20 inches at least. Yeah, right? I'd say it's probably yeah. just into the slot, I think. Huh. That thing really took it and just sat ran there. about two feet and just sat there. Well, like I was saying, probably going to be the last tip up. Didn't look promising. Somehow, there's a 21-inch walleye on there. Not really sure how or why it acted the way it did. But this one's in the slot. Finally get on the board with a walleye for me. Feels good. I don't know, we're getting like a midnight flurry. It's really hard to leave. I honestly would probably stay out here all night because the quality of fish is so nice, but funny thing, I actually just remembered that I am beating Brandon in the biggest walleye challenge. Yeah, I'm not Completely happy, forgot I'm not that happy. that was actually a thing until Bridge uh, nicely reminded me that I'm now in the lead. Yeah. So Brandon better hope that one of those tip-ups without the lights are up and that it's bigger than 21 inches because otherwise he's gonna lose. But that's quite hilarious that the last fish of the night is the one that I catch. And just to prove, you know, I'm obviously the better fisherman. Okay. So <laughs> that is fantastic. Okay. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we made it back to the vehicles. Actually, we made it back to town. And the reason for that is because uh, when we got to the truck, we attempted to film an outro and it's so cold out that the camera lens actually completely froze. So we love that. But yeah, we uh, made her back into town and I'll tell you what, we had an exceptional night of fishing. I mean, absolute blast out there. Um, it, it took some time, we had some lulls and I didn't even catch a freaking walleye, boys. That is a shame. But I'll tell you what, just to be a part of uh, a few of those catches tonight, especially the two giants that ended up hitting the top of the ice was just Unbelievable, to say the least. I mean, we waited and waited and waited, and we had these just crazy lulls throughout the night. And at one point, I mean, we had seven guys out there, so we had 21 flags. And uh, I'll tell you what, I gotta give props to Nick right at the very end. He did beat me, but to be a part of a uh, few of those few of those walleyes was absolutely amazing. Uh, so we ended up with, I think, two keeper-sized walleyes. We had one short early in the night as the sun was going down. And then we had that one in the slot. And we also had those two over the slot that were just freaking ginormous. So again, awesome night of fishing. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed. If you guys did, 
Make sure to give this video a big old fat thumbs up for us. We'd greatly appreciate it. We know that you guys absolutely love the walleye fishing videos. Hopefully you guys got a good look at the shack. We're gonna be spending a lot more time in there now that we've got a giant big old shack. If you guys like our camping series that we've done, I think you guys are gonna really enjoy some of the camping videos that we have in store for you. We are gonna be staying out overnight on the ice in the future and hopefully catching some more big walleyes. So again, if you enjoyed, Make sure to slap that thumbs up button for us. We'd really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Also hit that notification bell before you go. Tight lines from NB Edits.